Hello, welcome back to AR Vlog, where I'm gonna be talking about AR and all kind of 3D related um, topics. So in this video, I will be explaining um, the creations of 3D posts on Facebook using Blender and also uh, something called 3JS Editor. And it is actually really, really simple, but I'm gonna explain it so that anyone, even without 3D knowledge, can follow. So what we're gonna uh, we're gonna need it's a uh, first you need to download Blender. You can download it for Mac or PC or Linux, uh, whichever uh, you like. Uh, Blender is gonna be uh, our 3D uh, tool to create more advanced 3D. But um, for this, we're just gonna be using Blender to create the 3D text that we will be using here. Um, the box also will be created uh, in Blender. And the 3JS is gonna be the bridge between Blender so we can actually um, kind of bundle the 3D model into a GLB format that we can post into Facebook. Uh, whether you're posting to your private uh, Facebook wall or also on your Facebook uh, pages. So okay, this is actually fairly new. Um, it's only announced a few days ago on Facebook and then some some guy at 3JS decided okay, they can create a GLTF and GLB exporter and they are kind of doing it and it's kind of, uh, it's almost perfect actually but the RGB and RGBA um, vertex color is not going to be supported. But don't worry about all that. We're gonna just create this uh, simple 3D box with a Facebook text that goes around it. So let's get started in Blender. So I'm using Blender 2.79. Blender 2.8 will be announced sometimes this year, but 2.79 is actually pretty solid. So if you open Blender, you're gonna be uh, presented with this uh, 3D view. You have uh, 3D box by default, you have lamp and you have this camera. You can delete those for now. We're just gonna be uh, using this 3D box and we're gonna add tags into the box. So later we're gonna export it as OBJ, something like this. And this one doesn't have material, but we're gonna add material and light using 3JS. Okay, something like this. So let's go back to Blender. Okay. Now inside Blender, if you are new to Blender, the middle mouse button is going to be for doing orbit. Left mouse button is to place the 3D cursor. You will find out why we have this feature. Right click is to select an object. And I think shift, shift and middle click is to do panning. And what else? Zoom is actually um, scroll. Okay. So that's all you need to know for now. Um, in the 3D scene here, we have a cube, right? And we just need to have text object to write down our Facebook. So we're gonna create a text object. We're gonna do Shift A, create text object, and then you go RX and then rotate it 90 degrees. Type 90 and you have the text in the right angle and you're gonna now try to put it over there. To edit the text, we're gonna hit tab, go to edit mode and just type in Facebook. Okay, and I'm gonna make it smaller. I'm gonna hit S to scale, make it smaller. The text actually um, need to be in the center. So I'm gonna hit Alt Option G. I'm gonna put it, put the text like that. And with the text objects, we can uh, scale it and do extruding. So that's pretty easy. So I just did an extrusion on the text, and I'm gonna add some depth. So we have a nice smooth edge there, instead of a sharp edge like that. So add a little bit of depth. So with the text, we can also center it. It's just pretty easy and just make it smaller. Just gonna scale it. So we have this Facebook text. 
Okay, we are out. Uh, we are almost there. Um, so we're gonna actually duplicate the text and rotate it. Uh, we're gonna use the 3D cursor here. So by default, like I say, 3D cursor is if you left click, you're gonna place the 3D cursor. We're gonna zero that out. I just select that and then type zero. Now the 3D cursor is at the center. And now what we want to do is to rot duplicate this text and then rotate it 90 degree. So shift D, I just hit shift D and then I, I hit escape. And then I'm gonna rotate it using the pivot point of 3D cursor. So now the pivot is at 3D cursor. R, Z, and then you can rotate it 90 degree. Now you have the text on different side of the box. Do it again. Shift D, and then escape. R, R Z, 90. So we're gonna rotate in Z, 90 degree. Let's do that one more time. Shift D, release using escape, and then R, Z, 90 degree. Oops, escape, RZ, 90 degree, enter. So now we have four uh, Facebook text, 3D text objects around our box. Okay, now we are actually kind of done here and we just need to export it. Let's export it to the most basic um, uh, object. The most basic file type for 3D is the OBJ, but sometimes you actually want to use DAE or FBX. For now, just use OBJ. Save it on the desktop. Just call it Facebook, uh, Facebook text. And sometimes I believe in order to make it compatible, we need to turn on material groups and export OBJ. Okay, now if we check, uh, if we, now we can go switch to 3JS editor, okay? I'm gonna delete everything, create new scenes. So in here, left mouse button is an, an orbit and then scroll is the same. It's actually very similar, uh, similar to Blender. Let's import our Facebook text from the desktop. And choose the OBJ and we should have our objects but it's all dark just the silhouette because we don't have light that's why um, the camera is always there uh, always in the 3d scenes by default but we don't have light so let's do that real quick and add point light so now we have point light we can place it at the corner so it's a bit nicer and you can add another one, add point light. You can choose um, all kind of uh, different uh, point uh, light. Point light, there's point light, spotlight, directional. Point light is the easiest, I guess. Add one more point light and just use the handle here and move the objects. There's actually a shortcut like uh, W, E, R, Z. So that's the shortcut. If you use W, E, W is to change to uh, move, E to rotate, R is to scale. We don't need to use that. Just place, place it somewhere. So it looks kind of nice. You might notice that the whole thing is pretty much flat because we, we don't have any material. And with the 3JS um, editor, we can actually have quite a nice material. Um, let's try adding material. So we have the box being selected. By default, the material is mesh pong material. You have select. You can select Lambert, standard or physical. Uh, physical being the most realistic. But for now, we can leave it at pong. With the pong, we have specular control over the color of specular emission. Yeah, all these, they are all in hex though, uh, so that's one, one thing to keep in mind. The color is not something that you can easily choose, but you can change the color. Um, so for Facebook, the color, let's see, 
it should be Facebook color in hex so if you search Facebook color in hex you're gonna get this color just copy it this is hex um, hexadecimal number and you can go back to the 3js editor and just paste the color into the material so now we have Facebook color and for the text it's all pretty much white so this is almost done actually all you need to do is file export as GLB uh, you can export GLTF but uh, GLB actually bundle it into a binary format that Facebook will understand so let me delete this one exit so if you have Facebook pages and you want to post 3D you just click on this new post and then you need to drag and drop should be pretty easy so this is the GLB file that's being generated using 3JS drop it here and in a moment you should see our 3D Facebook okay so that's pretty simple uh, you might notice something different from what I have before it's the it's the cube and the text maybe I need to make the cube a little bit um, rounder so that can be done pretty easily back into blender let's save it first this is Facebook box demo so we have this scene uh, we simply need to just go to modifier and then apply a bevel and give it a, uh, just a segment a couple of segment adjust the width while holding shift so we want to make this smooth so just tap spacebar and smooth shade smooth if this you want the Facebook logo to be a little bit rounder you can add a little bit of more depth and then increase the resolution so that's a bit smoother so you can now export it again uh, if you want to add material let me show it to you so let's say this is box and I'll give it a uh, let me kind of guess Facebook color so a little bit like that for the text we're gonna give it material as well so this is Facebook white and select all this guy and this one last and then control L assign the same material so save it this guy seems to be a little bit floating I'm gonna adjust it a little bit it's okay just eyeball it sometimes in 3D um, you can be a little bit um, unprecise sometimes because you have a lot of uh, freedom when creating 3D so now with this one I'm gonna export it as Collada now so let's see if this will work apply the former yes export Collada and let's switch to our 3JS close this first exit file new I'm gonna lose everything that's okay and on the desktop I have they are uh, Collada I can import this into 3JS Hopefully it has all the material. I just need to add a point light. Uh, there you go. It has uh, Facebook material. Uh, apparently I don't have the text objects, so that's kind of the limitation. Actually, Collada. The funny thing with Collada is that uh, we can we can uh, export and import curve, but Facebook doesn't actually support doesn't support curve for now. Uh, anyhow with the text object really if you want to export the DAE just convert it into mesh first and then file export Collada once more now in here hopefully this will work file import Facebook DAE now add a bit of point light add one more point light so it looks like this material is a little bit more shiny one more point light if you you want to have nice lighting you can use hemisphere light that's kind of more like environmental kind of light 
this Facebook color is a bit wrong so we're gonna get the exact number paste it into the color there you go file export GLB hopefully our GLB is under 3 megabyte so it's 2.2 megabyte it's fine Facebook only accept 3 megabyte maximum for now it's, that's the limit so just drag and drop the GLB and hopefully it works um, sometimes you you do want to check it whether it's correct or not using uh, Facebook GLB validation tool and you just choose a file from that you exported from 3JS validate if, uh, if it's happy it will say your GLB can be successfully shared to Facebook so something like this right so it's pretty simple you can change the background so it's a uh, it's a fun little project if you have like a 3d object you know um, it's pretty easy you just import it into 3js editor just file import it will accept um, obj and you can give it material over here yeah everything uh, everything with 3js it's actually pretty simple uh, really it's a uh, just a matter of playing around just you know like adding objects and then if you want to change the object parameter change it in the geometry it's very very similar uh, to blender workflow it's a little bit sometimes a little bit more procedural with 3js you can actually add um, like a script if you want to rotate the camera and things like that it's a lot of tools that um, maybe at the moment it's not fully compatible with Facebook yet but soon it's gonna be uh, more compatible um, so yeah it's a it's really interesting and fun ways uh, you can do in Facebook if you want to post 3d uh, in 3d so there you go that's a quick look uh, on how to make a 3d post on Facebook using uh, blender 3d open source and 3js editor okay hopefully you enjoy this let me know what you think if you have any question uh, don't hesitate just ask me in the comments Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.